Uh, Trey, how would you describe this defense? Uh, I feel like it ha has us, gives us the ability to play fast, uh, physical, not have to think too much. Um, right now, we just started spring, so kind of just uh, getting the bases down and, and trying to understand multiple positions. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's going pretty good. Trayvon, how would you describe the new defensive coordinator, uh, Tim Banks, so far, and just how his teaching style and how you guys have messed with him early on? Uh, Tim Banks is a guy. Uh, he comes in every day ready to work. Um, he likes put he like he wants us to put good stuff on film, and uh, he's very detail oriented. So yeah, he's he's a dude, great guy. Patrick Brown and Brent Hubs. Hey, Trayvon, you said that this defense, you, the big thing for it is playing fast and physical, not having to think too much. Is that is that maybe sort of a welcome change from last season when maybe it looked like you, you guys maybe struggled a little bit, maybe overthinking some plays in the secondary? Um, no, it's just a different defense. So uh, we just got – I mean, it's, it's not the same as last year. So we just adapted to it. And, and what we go against every day, day in, day out, is pretty fast. So we got to be able to play fast. How do you feel like last season went for you? And what are you trying to, to improve on this offseason for, for your game? Uh, for my game, I talked to a couple people uh, personally. And as a team, we all uh, can improve on communicating, um, knowing each man's job, and uh, knowing where to be after the snap. Trayvon, you mentioned that playing fast or playing faster. Is that is that because it's in the early stages of putting this defense in? Is that simply the offense's tempo that's allowing you to play fast? Is there, as Patrick was asking, is there less reading that allows you to play fast? But what's allowed you guys to play faster the first three or four practices of spring? Uh, well, we kind of pride ourselves on that. Uh, for one, playing fast is, I mean, you always want to play fast. Uh, yeah, our offense do go pretty fast, for, for sure, as you all may know. Uh, so we have to be able to get lined up quick and uh, be ready to play. And then for you personally, how, how important is it just to have a spring, um, you, you know, to, to, to get adjusted to this system? You know, you didn't have one last year. You've had the injury bug since you've been here. How important do you think it is for you to kind of grow and develop your game by just having a spring practice? Oh, it's huge. Uh, very important. Uh, spring you can kind of work on your details and covering, tackling, communicating, pretty much everything uh, in the spring. Kind of just you, you focus on little details and, and what, what can help you and your teammates become successful. David Oban and David Pascal. Trey, what is it like in, in practice to, to try and defend an offense that wants to move as fast um, as this offense does? Uh, it's just a mindset. I mean, when once the play is over, you just got to come back and be ready to play again. Uh, it's, it kind of helps you get better. So when, when if we do it every day in practice and come game time, we'll be ready. And you mentioned that, that Coach Banks was, was really detail-oriented. What are some of the details uh, that he's hitting on with you guys? Uh, everything, like I said, communicating. Uh, running, running on and off the field, uh, being everywhere on time, um, yeah, everything that 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 takes in part of winning. Trayvon, you, when you're talking about the pace of the offense that you're facing in practice, can you compare it? I mean, who's the fastest team you've you've played against? I know Auburn under Malzahn would run it fast, but is it? Can you compare it to a team that you've faced, or is it even faster than anybody you've faced in a season before? No, I, I can't compare it to anybody. It's, it's just something that our team does by itself. It's, we're different, I guess I could say. Um, well, I really don't. I really don't know too many teams now. But from what I've seen, that going in like every snap, every uh, play is back on the ball. Hurry up! So. And is that is that the fastest you've ever encountered? I mean, did, do you remember practicing for a team during the week? Was it that fast, or is this the fastest you've ever had to react on defense? Uh, I mean, we practice fast. I mean, we always had periods where hurry up and stuff, but 
uh, this this offense will kind of got to do it every snap. So it's more consistent, I'll say, rather than working on it in a drill or in a period. It's kind of like all throughout the whole practice. Thanks. Ben McKee, then Gustavo. Yeah, Trayvon, just what have you seen out of Christian Charles, the, the lone newcomer out of the bunch this spring? Uh, Christian comes in every day ready to work. Uh, he has a mindset of old guy. Uh, he takes care of his body good. Uh, he asks questions. And uh, yeah, he, he, he prides himself on getting better every day. Trevon, uh, you, you are one of the most experienced uh, players on this defense. How you try to use your experience to help, you know, those freshmen, those sophomores coming into a new style defense? Can you ask that again? Uh, you, you, you are one of the most experienced. You are a senior. You are the most experienced players in this defense. How you try to use your experience to help those freshmen and sophomores coming? You know, trying to understand this new defense of style. Oh, uh, we just talked to them. They wanted a brother, so. Uh, any way I can, can help them get better, whether it's a stance, whether it's communicating, whether it's covering, uh, I, they can come ask me any questions. I come up to them, correct them, uh, anything I can do. We'll finish with Patrick Brown. Hey, Trayvon, you were signed to play baseball at one point and uh, maybe earlier in your career, I had planned to maybe play both sports here. Kind of what happened with that? And what's it been like for you to kind of see Tennessee's baseball program kind of take off like it has? And, and do you enjoy, do you, do you get a chance to watch them very much? And do you enjoy kind of seeing where they've gone? Oh, yeah, I enjoy it. I watch them all the time. I still stay in contact with uh, some of the coaches every now and then. Uh, it's just a part of life. Uh, some stuff you got to you gotta focus on more and uh, some stuff you got to let go. So, yeah. Thanks, Trayvon, for your time.